Good morning, Country Biker here, and what the is that? Well, some of you may remember in the summer that I fitted a centre stand. I like to have a centre stand on my bike. And one of the things that I've kept my eye on is this spring, because it's quite close to that cat, which gets very hot. So I thought I'd just check it over, probably put a bit of grease on it, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't corrode. I've had one of those snap on a little bike when I was a kid. It's no fun when the centre stand drops to the floor. So I was checking that over, as you do, OCD fashion. Basically because when I was a kid, I worked in a British Leyland garage. And I was astounded by the condition of some of the cars that came in when they were brand new. So when I got this bike, um, I did go over every nut and bolt, check they were tight. And uh, I did check the uh, gear linkage, which is well known to come loose there and there and uh, put some uh, thread lock on it, tightened it, tucked it up properly, made sure everything was okay, and checked all of the bolts. So, imagine my surprise as I was looking at the spring and pulled on the centre stand and I noticed this. The whole of this part here is moving. And um, I couldn't figure it out. It's nothing to do with the centre stand, the bolts that I put the said stand on are all talked up correctly and with thread lock. Turns out it is the swing arm bolt which has come loose and this is how loose it is. Look at that. Now if I hadn't checked that I hate to think what could have happened if that had come undone at 70 miles an hour. So just to show the importance of checking your bike now from what I can see there's a bolt there and there's a bolt on the other side and the swing arm itself is a, a like a tube. So if this one's loose, the other side is loose. I've been looked through the manual as best I can. Don't take my uh, settings for it, you can read the man your own manual, but um, I've taken what I think are the settings. and uh, I've got my torque wrench ready and I'm going to torque that up properly. And from what I can see also, there's no thread lock on that um, screw at all, or bolt. Uh, it seems to rely on a very high torque setting, if I've got the setting correct. So, yeah, you can see just how loose all of that is. Uh, so if you just grab your footrest and give it a wobble, you'll know whether that's loose or not. I'll just tighten it up um, by hand just to see if it makes a difference. Right, so now with that hand tight on both sides, if I pull the foot peg there's no movement at all so that was this bolt the swing arm bolt and there's one on both sides and they need to be tightened and torqued up so whew. narrow escape i think imagine doing 80 miles an hour down the motorway and that comes undone doesn't bear thinking of i have to investigate whether that really although the manual does not mention any thread lock whether perhaps i should put some on it but first of all I shall torque it um, as per the manual and just keep my eye on that from now on. Something to know. You learn something every day, don't you? Anyway, happy riding. We've got some blue sky, but Storm Jorge is just about to appear. Don't know what happened to Storms E, F, G, H, I, but Jorge it is. Next up. Now get this torqued up, get the bike away and bang down the hatches. Roger Biker is out.